Welcome to this video which provides a quick review of how to evaluate expressions and formulas. The first thing you need to know is that you're going to be substituting a number in wherever the variable is. And I put a little um, comment here that you want to put the value in parentheses. That's especially true if you have negatives or exponents involved. And then after you substitute, you need to make sure that you follow your order of operations the parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So let's look at a couple of examples. The first one here says to evaluate 5 minus 3 halves x if x equals 6. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my variable there in parentheses and then I'm going to substitute this 6 in. So this is going to become 5 minus 3 halves times 6. Now my order of operations says that I do parentheses first. I have parentheses, but there's only a single number inside, so there's nothing to do there. I don't have any exponents. Then I do multiplication and division. So I'm going to do this multiplication first. Remember that 3 halves times 6 is 3 halves times 6 over 1. When multiplying fractions, I can cancel common factors. So 2 divides into 2 one time, 2 divides into 6 three times. So this becomes 5 minus 3 times 3. Again, doing my multiplication, this is 5 minus 9. And 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Second example here, evaluate 4 minus 2m plus m squared if m is negative 3. And I'm going to put some parentheses in here around my m so you can see where they go. They go between the m and the exponent, if you have exponents. So this is going to be 4 minus 2 times negative 3 plus, in parentheses, negative 3 squared. Again, with my parentheses, I have them, but I only have a single number inside, so there's no operation inside the parentheses to do. The next step is to do my exponents. So this will be 4 minus 2 times negative 3 plus negative 3 in parentheses squared means negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. After I do my exponents, I do multiplication and division. Here's some multiplication. I'm going to think of that as negative 2 times negative 3, which will give me a positive 6. So I have 4 plus 6 plus 9. And then all I have left is addition. I'm going to go left to right. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 9 is 19. Okay, number 3. Evaluate 6 plus 3 times the quantity a minus 4 if a is negative 1. So copying down my expression, 6 plus 3. The quantity a minus 4, a is negative 1, so that's going to be negative 1 minus 4. Inside parentheses this time, I have something to calculate. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. So 6 plus 3 times negative 5. Parentheses first, we're done with that. Then exponents, we don't have any of those. Then multiplication and division left to right. Here's some multiplication. 6 plus negative 15, or if you want, you can write that 6 minus 15. And 6 plus negative 15 is negative 9. Moving on, we have two more to go. This one's a little bit more complicated. I wanted to give you one with some exponents and some roots. Again, I'm going to put my number right there and right here. Everywhere there's an x, I'm going to put a 4. So this is going to be negative 4 squared divided by 2 plus 3 times the square root of 4. So I don't have anything inside parentheses to calculate. I do have an exponent. And roots also fall into that same category as exponents. So I'm going to do this calculation and this calculation in the next step. The negative is going to hang out in front. 4 squared is 4 times 4, so that's going to be 16 divided by 2 plus 3 
Square root of 4, that's what number do you multiply by itself to get 4? That's 2. So that takes care of the exponents and roots. Then we go to multiplication and division. I have both of those, so I'm going to do those next. There's my division. Here's my multiplication. This will be negative 8 plus 6. And then finally, addition negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. So there's my final answer to that one. And the last one here, I put some decimals in. Uh, 8.2 minus 3.5b, that's times 1.8. So assuming you've got a calculator, we're going to do 3.5 times 1.8 in the calculator. 3.5 times 1.8, 6.3. So this is 8.2 minus 6.3, 8.2 minus 6.3, that's 1.9. There's a quick review of how to substitute values in to evaluate expressions and formulas. Make sure you always follow your order of operations.